meant to do this video a while ago, actually, but um, yeah, just never got around to it. <laughs> Basically, it's just like about every all these fucking diseases that have been dormant for hundreds of billions of years or never existed. All of a sudden, every plague in the world is going. What the fuck is happening? What is happening nowadays? We all know. Okay, first with COVID. Okay, maybe I was naive. Maybe a lot of us were. You know that in our lifetime it would never happen. It had been a hundred years. I think it was the Spanish flu was the last thing that had happened that closed shit down. But there wasn't much shit back in 1918. What did it close the saloon? What did the did they free the slaves yet? I don't even know what happened in 1918. <laughs> shit. But I'm sitting there and I'm like, when it happened, I was pretty, I was pissed everything was closing. What the fuck is bullshit? There's nothing big going on. And I still will stand by that here in Chicago, at least, where I actually am right now, picking up a certain somebody who can't be on my channel anymore because, you know, whatever. But they had made it so that they had like a big, uh, like conference venue they filled it with beds because there were going to be people people were going to be laying in the street dying everybody's going to be dead it was just going to be horrible and i swear there were a lot of hospitalizations and hospitals were fucking crowded and people did get it but it never really got as bad as they said but it was a bad thing okay fine so the world changed you know we go through this for like two years right okay then all of a sudden we start hearing about something like my friend <laughs> He is still my friend. But the one who can't be named, he can't be on the channel anymore because his lawyer scares the shit out of him. I don't know what the fuck is going on. I do, but I'm not going to say anything. Um, started telling me about... Did you hear about Monkey Dick? No, I didn't hear about Monkey Dick. Oh my God, if you stand next to somebody with Monkey Dick, you get the Monkey Dick. I don't know what we're going to do. I'm going to wrap myself in tinfoil and stay in my house. So... And then I finally, this is about like two months ago. I started hearing the rumblings. I'd forgotten about it. Monkey pox. Okay. I was like, I remember it was like February or something like that. I was out of town at a motel and I saw this thing about monkey pox. And I'm sitting there thinking, it's some bullshit. Another thing. They're just trying to scare us with shit. Apparently it's a real big deal. And apparently it's worse than COVID. And I should have never, ever watched anything on it. Cause I'm like a hypochondriac. I'm scared to death. <laughs> like I am, I'm not going near anybody now ever. I'm not sleeping in a motel unless I bring my own fucking blankets because apparently this motherfucker can live on surfaces. You know, they said that with COVID, but it was like, look, COVID. I was like, listen, I'm going to get like a really, really bad cold or the flu. I'll get over it. Have you seen this monkey shit? What my friend calls monkey dick, monkey pox. Have you seen that shit? Have you seen, watch somebody who's got it. Oh, Jesus Christ. I don't even want to hear about it anymore. They have fucking welts all over their face. Like, they can't shit because they have to have their butt held open by somebody because these welts are also super painful. So painful that pain medicine can't help them. Let me say it again. So painful, pain medicine doesn't help them. It's like a horrible thing. And you have it for like a fucking month. You're inside for a month. What the fuck is going on? What I thought we had vaccinations against that particular thing. And then the government's like, oh, yeah, we do. It's called smallpox vaccine. It could totally get rid of it for these people. Where the fuck is it? And I know what people are thinking. And I thought at first, too, because probably kind of true. You know, the oh, gays started it. It was the gays thing. Listen, I don't know if gays started it or not, but it's beyond a gay thing now. There are women and housewives and children. Well, you know, I don't care if children get it, quite frankly. They deserve pain and torture. But... <laughs> Because they touch everything and all that shit. But this is one of those things that I feel is not really getting paid. Enough. It is on some media, but not getting paid enough attention because this shit is climbing. Like, insanely climbing. And you just have to be near a motherfucker who's got it. You just got... It's not like COVID where, you know, somebody pretty much had the cough on you as far as I'm concerned, right? I wasn't worried about going to the gym and shit. I wasn't worried about surfaces. I am now. I ain't going to the fucking gym with that shit. People are sweating and shit like that. If you got a couple boo-boos on you, fuck that. I'm not going around that shit. I'm not sitting next to you. I'm sorry. If you have bad acne, I don't know what the fuck that is. Stay the fuck away from me. I will shoot you. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Survival of the fittest, damn it. And then my roomie tells me, you know, um... He's got kids. He's like, uh, you know, I might have to watch the kids once in a while very carefully because, uh, you know, they could come over and I don't want them to give you the tomato flu. What the fuck's a tomato flu? Are they allergic to tomatoes? What the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, the tomato or strawberry flu or whatever. So, what are you talking about? Apparently, there's something for children now that they can pass on to adults where people are getting like splotchy red shit all over them. Of course. I'm like, what the fuck is happening? What is going on? Is this the end of times and I just don't know it yet? I just haven't seen Jesus on the cross come back yet. Where is Did I miss him? <laughs> is he like wandering around out there? Someone said, I told you. I fucking told you. Did I not tell you? I sent locusts to a small town in New Mexico that was on like, you all are busy looking at fucking TikTok and shit and not paying attention to my ass. 
All right, I tried to warn you. You dumb fucks aren't listening. We did it with COVID. You people all want to oh, go inside. Oh, go inside. Yeah, stay inside for a month. Too much to ask, right? Well, guess what? Now you got the monkeypox. <laughs> and now we have to give you the strawberry fever flu. Or what next? I'm just saying, is the black plague coming? Polio. Holy fucking oh. Polio is making a comeback. I'm not too worried because I was vaccinated against that when I was a kid, but I think they stopped vaccinating after, like, millennials, you're fucked. I'm sorry. Unless your parents really, really cared, like, we're super over vigilant about it, you are fucked. You could get polio now. You're, you could be in one of those, like, Jerry's Kids commercials. You know, you could be, like, gimping, I'm, you're gimping around and something like, for $2 a day, you can send me another crutch. Help me. Don't trip me, please. It's not nice. What the fuck? Polio? Polio? That's, I can't even, I can't wrap my head polio. Who thought polio would make a fucking comeback? I mean, like I said, I'm not worried about it for me, but watch now. I talk all this shit. There's going to be like super duper polio. You know what I mean? Like, oh, we thought it. For, and they, the, the news, they're sadistic. They're sadistic as fuck. I'm telling you, every news anchor must secretly go home at night and just have a barrel of kittens and just pinch them until they scream. And <laughs> take that. Because they love to just fuck with you in the news, don't they? Well, we thought that the Black Plague wasn't going to come back, but sadly enough, it is. We thought at first that if you just stood away from people, you probably couldn't get the Black Plague, but we were wrong, and now doctors are telling us, they're telling us that you can get it pretty much anywhere, and you'll suffer and vomit continuously until your insides come out of your mouth. It's horrible. We're going to tell you more in about a minute. Watch this commercial break. <laughs> They're doing that shit now with the fucking polio. Yeah, polio's making a comeback again. Apparently, people aren't listening. All these people are getting polio now. They're sadists. I think the newscasters are doing it. What do you think about that? I think they are all, at some point, a bunch of people from a media organization went to Wuhan somewhere. And it's like, we need a story. Let's start a virus. Fuck it. And these Chinese people aren't going to know anything. Let's just go in there and take something. We'll take a vial. <laughs> we'll just bribe them with some yen. They don't make any money here. Hey, we have five American dollars. Oh, you like it? Okay, give us a vial. Come on. Let's start. Throw this shit on the ground or something like that when we get back to L.A. or wherever, wherever we're going to be at. We'll, we'll blame it on that. We'll blame it on like a tuna boat or something like that. I don't know. I'm telling you, it's them. It's their asses. They started this fucking shit. What the f I'm seriously. Like, what? I'm seriously. <laughs> what next? I'm just waiting for the next big disease to come out. Like, what? what I'm trying to think. Scarlet fever. <laughs> Why not Christmas Day? Why not? Yeah, we thought it was gone, but apparently Scarlet Fever's out there. Now you can just get it from stepping outside for 30 seconds. <laughs> and as soon as you get it, there's no cure for it. You just shit yourself and die right there in the spot. We're finding it spreading here, 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 and here. You know what? I'm not watching no news anymore. I don't want to hear about this shit anymore. I'm tired of this. <laughs> fucking, I'm fucking done. And the news is always trying to scare you, but damn it. Ugh. <laughs>